two of a three-part series on suture classification. Today, we're going to dive into the difference between absorbable and non-absorbable suture options. A few terms to note before we begin. Firstly, tensile strength retention, also known as TSR, is a suture's ability to retain strength over time within the body. Secondly, absorption rate is the time required for a suture to fully absorb into the tissue. It's important to remember that suture strength and absorption rate must coincide with tissue healing period. Ideally, a suture should lose its strength at the same rate that the tissue regains its strength and is therefore able to support itself. Absorbable sutures lose strength and mass over time. Each suture has a different TSR, ranging from weeks to months. Additionally, each suture has a different absorption process, which is largely dependent on suture composition and whether or not the suture is natural or synthetic. Absorption of natural suture is led by an immune response that involves white blood cells attacking and removing the foreign material. Degeneration of natural materials can sometimes be unpredictable depending on patient factors. On the other hand, synthetic absorbable sutures are absorbed through the process of hydrolysis, whereby bodily fluids will actually break up the chemical bonds of the polymer. Degeneration of synthetic materials is far more predictable compared to that of natural suture. This contributes greatly to synthetic absorbable sutures being used more widely compared to natural absorbable sutures. Non-absorbable sutures retain strength and mass over time though some do slowly lose strength and mass over many months or years. There are only a few instances where non-absorbable sutures are recommended over absorbable sutures. This includes skin closure and in instances where permanent support is necessary, for example in cardiovascular, ophthalmic, and neurological surgeries. One consequence to using non-absorbable sutures is that the longer the suture is in the body, the more likely the tissue will react to it. This is true for both natural and synthetic sutures. Although both absorbable and non-absorbable sutures have been used for centuries and with great success, absorbable sutures, specifically synthetic absorbable sutures, are most commonly used today. This is simply due to greater predictability and better surgical outcomes. That's it for today. Reach out if you have any questions, and don't forget to stay tuned for part three, where we'll take a deeper dive into natural and synthetic suture options. We'll see you then.